Well, hello and welcome back to another video. I'm out here with my Volt today, but um, this video isn't necessarily about my Volt um, bike, although um, obviously it's, it's part of the video. Um, I did a video last summer where I said um, I was looking at some means or finding, I should rather say, a um, suitable, very small, um, inflatable canoe kayak that it would be possible to um, put on the bike or put in the bike, put in the panniers and then go off to some locations and, you know, kayak or canoe. Um, I looked at many options and um, there's quite a number of surprisingly of, of small um, inflatable kayaks out there but when you start actually looking how small they actually pack up and the weight of them, uh, it gets very limited. Um, I have the Ituit, which I reviewed last summer and I still have and hope to use that again this summer. Um, and that's a one person inflatable, um, basically like a sit on or sit in canoe, I should say. Um, but the actual bulk of that is really even if you strapped it on your back I don't think it's safe to cycle far um, so eventually uh, I came across uh, this this particular uh, kayak canoe call it what you like um, as I say I believe a kayak is is really called um, it has an, uh, like a keyhole opening that you slide yourself into. That is what I term a kayak. This is more like a, um, shall we call it a sit-on or sit-in canoe, really. And um, and if I take, I have it. I have it in the pannier. It does. It does amazingly fit in the pannier. So if I pull it out, um, that's what I have found. And this is the advanced elements pack-like. They actually call it a kayak, so we better refer to it as a kayak from now. Um, obviously, amazing that that fits into that um, bag there. They're very light. I, I can't. Um, I will have a look at the um, instructions. I think it's only about um, seven kilograms in weight thereabouts. Um, Obviously, uh, probably this is not this is not like one of those cheap PVC pool pool type kayaks. Um, there again, they they do fold up, but the PVC makes them very um, heavy. This is made of a special polyester material, which I'm told is quite hard wearing. Um, I bought this that I, you know I will put the company and put a link in the description to the company where I bought this from. Um, I was very fortunate they knew I was looking for one and um, had one returned um, so it had been opened allegedly with a fault um, they blew it up they went right over it in fact they guaranteed it another six months they could see no fault with it they just think the person didn't want it and had sent it back so this was sold to me at a fantastically reduced price um, I've seen these retail from around about 300 right way above 400 pounds but obviously as I said to you I'm on a budget doing this I paid nowhere near um, this that price because I say it was a returned opened um, canoe and uh, but so they checked it over and um, I have inflated it once previous and can see no issues with it whatsoever um, I haven't actually tried it on the water yet that will be a future video to come but amazing um, to think you I can get that in my bike panniers it would fit if, if you wanted to go off um, doing some um, walking and you had a quite a big rucksack it would fit in a rucksack because there's no weight there admittedly okay then you need um, you need a pump and they very kindly supply, supplied a pump with it it doesn't come with its own pump um, but there again that is not not very big and um, doesn't take a lot of room up 
and then I've got there again it doesn't come with a paddle but um, I have a, a paddle that splits into four parts which there again fits in my panniers and then you need all the other bits and pieces so you it's still you know you need quite a lot of room I mean obviously you know there's a buoyancy aid to fit in somewhere that, but mine lays on the top of my rack there so uh, you know I, I think this is amazing and um, I've seen one or two YouTubes on it people have there's not really many great reviews on there so I hope to really sort of trial this and um, see how it does and um, as I say if you do want a, a really uh, compact kayak that you can take with you virtually anywhere you can have it in the boot of your car and if you suddenly found some water that you wanted to paddle on it's there and you know it takes no room up at all or like I say in a rucksack if you're going walking or on holiday and you don't have a big car and you know you haven't got a lot of space it's ideal obviously this is more what I would class um, for still water you know you wouldn't go white water down you know a, a fast running river on this um, it's, it's still water and likewise it would need to be uh, very flat calm conditions if you did any if you took it on any coastal um, you know um, little sort of just off the edge of the sort of beach type thing you, you wouldn't want you know it's not designed really for like a, a sea kayak or um, that kind of thing basically flat water shall we say lakes rivers um, that kind of usage so that's it, it out the bag as you can see it folds up very small it does come with an inflatable seat as well we should prob well, probably won't put the seat in this is purely a, um, a test and um, it just basically opens up like that hopefully now angling the camera down you'll see that probably a little bit better there now and um, Um, so there we go. I hope that gives you um, some idea. Um, it blows up very quickly and as I say, although it looks uh, kind of like that PVC material that those cheaper boats are made of, it certainly isn't. It does feel quite a tough, as I say, it says it's a polyester and it's a PVC, it's made of a totally PVC free material. Um, there is a, um, the pump, the pump is, is a bit poor really, but it, it's there again, uh, it is what it is size wise, you know, you can't expect an awful lot from it. Um, and um, if we, what do we want, uh, if we take that off, fits in that is that gonna fit no what one is going to obviously I've only done this once when it first came so it's it's all it's all very new to me this is I think that might fit that one that locks in there then like so come round the other side um, so there we go um, it blows up within minutes and um, it could do with it could do with pumping up a little bit harder um, but 
amazing to think that um, it fits into that bag. Uh, you can carry it, it's very light. And it feels, it feels quite okay. Um, I think it'd be very paddleable, but like I say, on, on calm water. Um, it takes up to 113 um, kilos in weight. So what's that? I think that equates to something like about 17 and a half stone. So um, it's as easy easy support my uh, 11 and a half stone in weight. Um, I'm quite impressed with it, really. I think it'd be, you know, so get, get it a little bit firmer. Um, I don't like to, when, whenever you're blowing an inflatable up for the, for the first few times, it's far better to um, not over inflate them. You know, if you can blow them up inside or in your garden and leave them for a while and let them stretch, um, you don't want to go and blow them really hard up when anything's new. Um, it can put a lot of stress on the seams. So it's good to do that a few times first. But um, overall impressions, I mean, it is what it is. It's a, it's a small inflatable, very lightweight um, kayak that you can carry on a bike or in a rucksack. And um, I think it has got, in, in that case, it has, you know, um, many advantages. And um, I hope you'll come back and um, see me certainly trying it on the river and see how we get on and see how it performs then have, have a quick paddle with it and, and blow it up again and and um, take it out so um, but overall impressions I'm, I'm quite pleased with it and um, you know for a lot of people it might mean uh, this would be the difference between getting on the water and not getting on the water when you can carry something as lightweight as this so yeah very good um, I will put the link in the description to the, the um, vortex advanced elements that that um that i bought this from um they are the main one of the main stockists in the uk um i have the uh, you do get a little owner's manual here which tells you you know about um how to blow it up and how these the valves are quite strange on this how the valves work and um it's a three chamber so you've got the floor and an inner and an outer chamber so you've got three chambers to blow up so it's you know i think it would even if you lost one of the outer chambers it would still give you enough buoyancy to get into somewhere safe into the bank say um the um i was just seeing if i could find any specifications on it um the cleverly the bag does um clip onto the front there and make a little sort of hold all unit so that's that's quite clever that you even take the bag with you um you know you could put like things like the pump and your shoes because really you don't even want to wear it's best if you can avoid even wearing anything like trainers or even a soft plimp sole you know you tend to um pick bits of stones up you know if you're on a river bank or on a lake bank bed you know blowing it up or on a beach um you know it's best not to, to, to go in with like me a barefoot if you can i think that is an advantage it doesn't matter but you've just got to be careful obviously um with all inflatables um they do tear and rip very easily um but the same it does it does feel quite a nice um kind of material um not sure about the red color but we won't worry about that i think you know might have been better if it had been in, in a you know dark navy blue or a black but but so be it you know it doesn't really matter that doesn't that's neither here nor there um i was still trying to find any specifications on this and um perhaps it's right at the front if we did the look Yeah, so um, the uh, length uh, is so. Yeah, I was um, I was well out on the weight. <laughs> I, I thought it, you know, 
after feeling it, I thought I'd over, you know, um, I think I said seven kilos. It's nothing like that. The weight is only four pounds, or that equates to 1.8 kilograms. So, I mean, it's amazingly light. Like I said, it will take 113 kilograms of weight, be that the personal luggage. Um, you certainly wouldn't perhaps have a lot of room for any luggage, but um, so it t takes, you know, quite a good weight. Um, And that's really about, you know, all the book tells us. It just tells us um, it, it has what they call military style valves, which are new to me. Um, as I say, the bag clips up, the bag comes with some hooks and it hooks onto these at the front here, which is quite clever. So you can take the pump and any bits and pieces along with you. Um, and um, as I say, it has the inflatable seat. We won't blow up now, but that, that fits in there and obviously blows up. Um, um, I have to say it deflates very easily as well. Um, you know, this is taken, you know, just a, a, this is a couple of minutes. And the idea is, I believe, you fold it in. And then... And there we go, back in the bag. So um, it is quite possible to fold it up and get it back in the same bag. Although I think that needs a bit of practice. Just a quick comment, the Volt bike is still going very well. My battery is still holding up. The newer battery I put on there is still um, excellent. And you know, I still don't feel the need really to, to swap it. And, you know, what, what um, for, for my needs at the moment, you know, what better would I get? Um, with a, probably a, a lot of money outlay um, to buy a new bike. So um, I'm certainly going to run that until it sort of finally gives out the, probably the battery again and then um, start to have a look at some newer models um, because they are so expensive. But um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. And it does help us smaller channels if you'd like to do that. Thank you very much. And um, if you have one of these or have had experience of a uh, advanced elements pack light inflatable canoe, we'd love to hear about it. And um, how did you get on with it? Perhaps you thought it was a load of rubbish, but um, I don't mind that, you know, um, as I say. And um, please do come back for a future video when we take this on a trial. And um, until then, bye for now.